Okay, welcome to week 13. So this is a big week. We have our project this week, and also we learn about the turbulent 60s with chapter 28 and questions one through five of chapter 28. The 60s were definitely turbulent. Um, we have JFK winning election uh, against Nixon, who had been Eisenhower's vice president um, in 1960. Um, also, those were some of the first televised debates. They were not the first, but they were some of the first. It was new, and uh, Kennedy presented much better on TV than Nixon. So, uh, in, he won, and then we see him, you know, forced into the Bay of Pigs debacle, but 18 months later, he redeems his foreign policy's abilities with the Cuban Missile Crisis and his fabulous handling of that. We, um, JFK then tragically was assassinated in 1963. We see President Johnson, who was his Kennedy's vice president, coming on with his plan for the great society and ending poverty. We see the Civil Rights Act finally codifying what should have been guaranteed all along with the Civil War amendments. We see Martin Luther King and tremendous actors for civil rights. Unfortunately, at the end of the 60s, tragically, again, um, Martin Luther King is assassinated and Bobby Kennedy, RFK Sr. is assassinated. Um, RFK's son is running for president and you need to be paying attention to these presidential elections because also in the 60s and bleeding into the 70s is Vietnam. And why were we in Vietnam? Well, because President Truman's policy of containment of communism endured. So that's why we're in Vietnam. Communist North Vietnam invades South Vietnam. We go to bolster South Vietnam and keep communism to the north. This is why we must pay attention to presidential elections. And you need to be reading, listening, watching, and making the most educated choice that you can for your presidential candidate. And you definitely need to vote. Okay, this week also we have the project. So I have detailed instructions in the weekly to-dos. Um, and so what you do is you're going to read Article 3 of the Constitution. See if you agree that it provides for a judiciary and judicial power. Then you're going to find a Supreme Court case that deals with something in our class timeline, which is 1877 to present. Find something where the Supreme Court is interpreting a part of the Constitution. The, an example in the directions is the Plessy case and where I think the court circumvented the 14th Amendment to create the separate but equal doctrine. So whatever Supreme Court case that you choose, do you agree with the court's decision? Did they get it right? Did they get it wrong? Why or why not? I want five sources because you can find, especially on the big Supreme Court cases, you can find commentary and opinion about whether they did it correctly or not and why. Um, I'd like you to try your hand at APA citation, but you will not be penalized for citation errors. It's just something to get in the habit. You will be penalized if you don't list any sources though. So reach out to me with questions and have a great week.